Hi guys, welcome to the next video. What we're also going to be doing on this channel is having a look at some of the different castings of the same car. Um, so obviously certain cars have been produced by multiple manufacturers and um, what we're going to do is sort of almost a comparison so you guys can hopefully find out which is the best one, what one's going to suit your needs uh, which one you're going to be the most happy with. Now in front of us we have a selection of AMG GT3s. The brands in front of us include Sparky, these two, Good Smile, but we'll get to Good Smile in a minute, but they are very much the same as a Sparky casting. Now this model in the mid middle here is actually produced by a company that sort of has an M Plus logo. Um, they're from what I can presume China, I don't think they're licensed, uh, but we'll have a look at that model because it's a bit different. Um, something to uh, compare some of these other brands with. And then we've got three tarmac works here um, that we can have a look at too. So obviously the AMG GT3 has been Mercedes GT3 race car since 2016. So we've now seen lots of different models. Um, the cars in front of us hopefully represent the sort of different championships that this car races in. We've got cars from IMSA, the Daytona 24 hours, things like that. We've got a Nürburgring 24-hour car, we've got a couple of Spa 24-hour cars, as well as the Macau Sprint Race cars. To start with, we're going to start with Tarmac Works. They're probably the casting that's got the most uh, variation in liveries, and also there's quite a few models that are now quite hard to find, especially some of the first uh, releases that they did. And to start off, we're going to have a look at this Haribo Golden Bears, uh, gummy bear car this came third in the Nürburgring 24 hours 2016 it's a really cool casting by Tarmac Works they've got all the details there that you'd expect uh, they've got the yellow lens lights which the Nürburgring cars will have in the top class you can see the side ex exhaust is actually painted but it is molded in and painted grooves got some nice depth on the arches there the front grille is nicely detailed. The extra lights for endurance racing are just stickers on a tarmac works, uh, which you can see there. But yeah, overall, it's a really good casting. You've got all the aero appendages that you'd normally expect on a GT3 car. Uh, fuel uh, filler goes in the side there. They do also depict here the running lights to say which position the car is running in. But overall, really good casting. Tarmac Works do a really good job. I think the shape's caught well, and generally the detail is what you would expect. However, their price point can be a little expensive, ranging from around £18.99 all the way up to sort of £24.99 at retail. Some of the older releases though, for example the Bilstein cars, uh, some of the Hatsumiku Good Smile cars are really hard to come by and you can be looking at paying sort of £60 onwards. Uh, the Hello Kitty car is exceedingly hard to find and seems to command sort of £150 in price. Time at Works they do a really good job of covering different range of races that this car competes in. They've got Macau cars, Paul Ricard, Spa 24 hours, Nürburgring 24 hours, uh, IMSA GT Daytona cars, that sort of thing. So if we have a look at this later, more recent release this is, you can see it's got a little bit more detail with the fact that they actually put aerials on it, um, which obviously these endurance cars generally tend to have. Um, again, you've got your yellow lights, which is IMSA GT deregulations. Brake discs are there, tyre markings with Michelin logos. You don't get any tow hooks and stuff on this car, which is a bit unusual for a tyre at works. Quite a lot of them do now. Um, it is also worth noting, if we have a look at these two, the different um, fuel sort of colourings on the fuel fuel bands. Um, obviously, this one's only got one depicted, whilst these have two on the side there. Again, you get running lights, things like that are on here. So on this car, they happen to be on the side pillar just here. But yeah, overall, really good job by Tarmac Works. So we're going to look at their main competition, which actually is Sparky. Now, Sparky offer great value. They can be found for about £13, £12.99. They don't quite have the depth, for example, on this front 
um, aero piece. Um, they do also have painted tail lights, which is isn't quite as cool as the tarmac works, which is lensed. If I just quickly show you that, so you can see that. There you go. In fact, on this one, you can always see how it just blends into the uh, car's race design. Everything's on the Sparky and produced relatively well. Um, I do think Tarmac Works is better detail wise, but for value and cost effectiveness, I do have quite a few Sparkies. They've also done quite a few cars that Tarmac Works haven't done, which is really good because it gives you that uh, diversity of cars that you can have in your collection. Uh, you don't get brake discs, you don't get marked tyres on here, so obviously this should have Pirelli P0s on it. Uh, but overall the casting's nicely done. Tarmac Works also do paint the roll cages different colours. I don't think I've seen a different coloured uh, roll cage on any of the Sparkies. They're all just black. In fact, I think the interior detail is probably a little bit lacking. I do think Sparky will do yellow lenses on lights. Um, I haven't got any to hand, but I seem to remember on the Nürburgring car that I did have, um, it did have yellow lights. Uh, so that is also correct. So Sparky, great value for money, really well detailed still. Um, Tarmac works, you'll actually get this sort of, sometimes it's actually a grill like texture in there. Sparky, it's basically just a black hole. Uh, although it does look like there is a textured surface, it's just a lot deeper in into that sort of set further in. Yeah, you can see it there, the differences between the two models. But overall, yeah, really good. Wheels are pretty much the same. Um, I think Tarmac works is slightly better just because they've got a little bit more detail, brake discs. They obviously put the uh, manufacturer of the tyre brand on there. But I won't complain too much about Sparky. It's great value for money. They look great together. Okay, so now for the sort of the oddballs in the mix. Good Smile. Now, this is a Sparky casting. Good Smile just rebrand it. You also pay a bit of a price for that. These Hatsune Miku colours are really popular and really expensive. Um, there's quite a few cars from Super GT, Suzuki 10 Hours, as well as the Spa 24 Hours cars that the team has run. Um, that's generally all the designs that you will get. I don't think we'll probably see normal Sparky or Time Outworks continue to produce them anymore. But as you can see, lots of detail, usual Spark quality. Um, so no complaints there, but you do pay for these. Uh, sometimes you can get lucky and find them for about £20, but generally speaking, they're normally over 30 Okay, so this is the real curveball and oddball, if you like. Um, this brand, I don't really know much about them. They say M Plus on the logos. Um, this car is meant to represent a car from the 2019 Macau World Cup. Now, it has got several errors. In fact, even the picture on the box of this model doesn't necessarily look like this car, how it's modelled. Uh, this number board is incorrect. It almost looks like it's got a knockoff Super GT vibe going on with that small number there. Um, but it, it has got the colours captured, and that's what we're going to concentrate on. Quality of the model, it's okay. It's not great. I actually had to file these mirrors down, um, because when it first arrived, they were really pointy. They hadn't been cleaned up from the casting. You can see that these window wipers are really big, thick and chunky. The rear wing assembly is also a bit strange on this model. And the fact that you can actually pull that off. And you can see how thick and bulky that is in design. The whole thing's a bit clunky. But this is a model that nobody else has done this car. I don't think Tarmac Works are going to produce it. It wasn't really a high finishing or interesting car in the race. Um, but I just got it as a sort of look at something a bit different to compare to. It has got the reflective mirrors, which both Sparky and Tarmac Works do as well. The uh, reflective plates in those mirrors. Um, so that's a plus point on this model. Um, it did retail at around £15 when I found it. Um, I had to do some digging. I heard of it on Instagram, then I had to try and track it down on eBay. I did find one in China, which is the car that arrived here. You do get an aerial. The windows are actually pretty nicely moulded in. Uh, but the problems I have found with this is some of the details are a little clumsy and could be finished a bit better. This paint has run here, for example, and I have this white line that I cannot remove. It's not even decal, it is actually white paint, uh, which is a bit different. 
I don't quite know how that's happened. The exhaust isn't really depicted out at all. There is some detail on those wheels and I don't know if it's a brake disc but there's something in the background of the wheel. It's not quite visible on the camera. Interior looks okay. Uh, there is a roll cage, things like that present. But again, sort of the outline of these windows looks a bit thick. If we look at the around the front lights, again, it's quite thickly applied. The grille's got some nice depth to it, a nice chrome finish. And actually, this does have the better of all the sort of designs in that hood. You can actually see a radiator and fan there, which is pretty cool, uh, which is a big plus to this model. I'll give it that. Uh, but overall, yeah, it's it's an interesting one. I'm going to keep an eye on, see if we see any more of this car from this brand. I don't know if we will. It might have done in a, sort of a unlicensed one-hit wonder. Uh, they did the presentation car and also a sort of... Uh, I think it's like how the car appears in Gran Turismo. Uh, but yeah, this is the only racing variant so far that they've done. So that's a quick overview of some of the AMG GT3s you can now get in 164 scale. There is obviously a Hot Wheels as well. I don't have that with me. And it doesn't really compare in the same way as these models do. Obviously the Hot Wheels is more of a toy. But I have seen some people do some really cool um, paintwork on those cars. And turn them into actual race replicas. So you can get decals and things like that. So that's always an option for those that are interested in that sort of thing. Let me know what you think of the three different castings that are available currently for the AMG GT3. Um, we are going to be seeing Para 64 and Tarmac Works do the new Evo model, which will be interesting, and we'll do a comparison of that. I have no doubt that Spark will probably also join in and do that Evo casting too.